वेलकाम टू आवार यूट्यूब चैनल मैथामेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज एनदार प्रब्लेम अफ सी एस आर यूजिस नेट जून टू थाउजेंड टोटी थ्री मैथामेटिकल सायस एंड दिस इज अ प्रब्लेम अफ रियल एनालिसिस सिकुएन्स लेट आस नाउ रीड द कोश्चन लेट एक्स इन बी सिकुएन्स अफ पजिटिव रियल नम्बर एंड सिगमा एन इज रिफाइंड इन दिस वे then which of the following are true number 1 says that if lim sup xn equal to l and xn is decreasing then lim sup sigma n equal to l number 2 says that if lim sup xn equal to l if and only if lim sup sigma n equal to l number 3 says that if lim sup n into xn by xn plus 1 minus 1 less than 1 then summation xn is convergent and option 4 says that if lim sup n into xn by xn plus 1 minus 1 less than 1 then summation xn is divergent see first the option 1 uh, there is a result in sequence which says that a monotone sequence having a convergent subsequence is convergent i am repeating the result again a monotone sequence having a convergent subsequence is convergent that means if a sequence xn if a sequence xn is monotonic that means monotonic increasing or decreasing and if there is a subsequence xnk which is convergent then this sequence will be convergent so See here, lim sup number one says that lim sup x n equal to l. Lim sup x n means there must have a uh, subsequence which is convergent because this lim sup actually is the uh, supremum of the subsequential limits. So if there is no subsequence which is convergent, then there is no question of lim sup x n. so lim sup xn exist means there is there exist at least one convergent subsequence so since xn is monotonic decreasing and it has one convergent subsequence so this xn must be convergent and converts to this l because this when xn is convergent then its lim sup and lim in will be same and because all subsequence will be convergent and converge to that same limit so this must converge to l now there is a well known result which is uh, said cauchy's theorem on limit that if x n tends to l then sigma n equal to this summation x n by n this also tends to l so by cauchy's theorem on limit this result The option one is true. Now look at option two. Lim sup x n equal to l. If and only if lim sup sigma n equal to l. Uh, just consider the sequence x n equal to minus one whole to the power n. Then clearly here our lim sup lim sup x n will be one. And say uh, just uh, let me write the sequence sigma n. So here sigma one equal to just minus one, sigma two equal to minus one plus one by two zero, sigma three equal to minus one plus one minus one by three that that is uh, minus one by three, sigma four is our again zero, and sigma five sigma six. is defined in this way so clearly this sequence actually converts to zero so here our lim sup lim sup sigma n is equal to zero so lim sup xn and lim sup sigma n are not same in general so option 2 is not correct now look at option 3 take x n equal to just n and calculate these things that lim sup 
limbs of n into x n by x n plus one minus one. This is equal to our limbs of n into n by n plus one because our x n equal to n minus one. This is equal to our limb soup. Uh, this is our n into n minus of n plus one by n. So this is our actually n minus n minus one by n plus one. Now uh, on next page, this is will be equal to limb soup. Uh, limb soup minus n by n plus one. So this is equal to limb soup minus one by one plus one by n. And clearly this tends to minus one. So limb soup and limb in all will be equal to same. So this is equal to minus one. So this is clearly less than one. So the hypothesis of option. Uh, Three is right. That means limb soup this less than one. But summation x n is this x n is a divergent sequence. So summation x n must be a divergent sequence. So it is not convergent. So option three is not correct. And see option four. If limb soup n into x n by x n plus one minus one less than one, then summation x n is divergent. Uh, see any standard uh, book of real analysis and see the chapter in sequence chapter. There is a test. There are so many. Sorry, uh, see the chapter uh, series, and there are so many tests like the Allen-Bartz ratio test, Cauchy-Root test, and there is also a test uh, which is called Rabi's test. Uh, this is actually Rabi's test. That if this limb soup this term less than one, then Rabi's test says that summation n x n is divergent. So option four is correct. So here in this problem, our option one and four are correct option and. Two and three are not correct options. Thanks for watching, and keep watching for the.